22 meters. Copy. And just to recap, we heard earlier that the fueling of Space Shuttle Endeavour at Kennedy Space Center's flight, uh, launch pad 39A did finish up and go into stable replenish, and so the external fuel tanks now loaded with half a million gallons of fuel and the countdown for Endeavour's launch at 6.13 p.m. Central Time tonight is now into its two and a half hour built-in hold at the T-minus three hour marks. Scheduled to resume at 2.18 p.m. Central Time. We are approaching one and a half squares. It's at 10 meters. Copy. Uh, we are expecting um, close um, short uh, distance allow and we're by about whole, uh, half a um, square away and we can see uh, station keeping. Um, there is a separation. Copy the back out uh, should start after the st station keep. Uh, once we have disabled uh, berthing, uh, it's going to go three minutes after it's going to back out. Its uh, approach was good. We could see everything. Everything uh, went very well. And uh, we haven't wasted uh, the activities, the preparation. Uh, and the EVAs have not been wasted with uh, two kilometers of cables routed. As you can hear, the final approach has gone well. It's now reached that point about 33 feet away from the station, or 10 meters, um, at which we are now waiting for the Progress's software to begin sending it away from the International, to abort the approach so that the two burns that will send it away from the International Space Station can be performed. Flight controllers here on the ground report that the progress has performed first burn, a good back away burn that moves it away from the Zenith port on Zvezda service module. Another burn will move it retrograde away from the space station and prepare it for tomorrow's final deorbit burn that will drop it into orbit where it will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. That is correct, Gennady. Uh, there is nothing that we can see. The picture is dark. Uh, is there any point in uh, keeping the recording going? Is the searchlight on? Yes, it is. Uh, deactivate the filter. Yes, please. Deactivate it. And we can see the back panel and the target at 80 meters right now. Copy. And the crosshairs um, are to the right with respect to the back panel. Okay, we can see, so please keep recording. Yes, yes, with the filter off, it can continue recording. Seeing view now from the cameras on board, the Progress 33, as it moves away from the International Space Station, having successfully completed that re-rendezvous. Again, it was never intended to actually dock with the International Space Station. This was meant to just check out the antenna system that was installed during a spacewalk in June by Commander Gennady Padaka, who is currently talking with Russian controllers on the ground, and also by flight engineer, U.S. Flight Engineer 1, Mike Barrett. 
We're at about 130 meters, and we can only see the shape of the target. A hundred and fifty meters, we can see the shape of the target, but we can no longer see the crosshairs. Copy. You can hear it steadily moving away at now a hundred and fifty meters or four hundred and ninety two feet. Closest it came to the docking port was about ten meters or thirty three feet. Hundred and seventy uh, meters. We can't see uh, the target. We can see the FGB, and we can see some of the SM, and we can see the docking mechanism. Copy. Two hundred meters. Uh, we can see a picture of the station a little bit. With its final approach boarded a few minutes ago as planned, the two engine burns that moved the progress away from the station, first backing it away from the docking port and then moving it retrograde away from the International Space Station have both been completed now and the antenna system on the progress that guided it into the station has been deactivated so that test of the antenna system is complete. That again was to verify the accuracy of a docking target and antenna system installed last month on the yeah, Zvezda service that. module that will be used to guide the Russian Mini Research Module 2 to the International Space Station when it arrives later this year. That module again will provide another docking port, port for Soyuz and Progress vehicles visiting the station and also provide about three cubic meters of volume inside the station for stowing cargo and setting up science hardware. You can turn it off. Okay, turning it off. Copy.